She turned 85 this June, did June, but she spells hers J-E-U-N-E, and she is the only one not privy of knowing about that LGBT side of me. So, I've been out for about 14 years, and the words, hey grandma, I'm, uh, did not appear. Scared, queers and non-queers, hell years. So, I told my oldest mate first, right, and she was like, oh, that's cool. Just don't come on to me. Oh. See, that's funny. It's mostly gross. Funny though. Love you, girl, but no. So, from age 23, I go about this. I'm into women revelations organically. And, you know, mostly, mostly uh, people are pleased and accepting. They're like, yeah, Tans, we get it. No sweat, but she. My oldest living relative was relatively in the dark. Fuck. <laughs> My mum reckons she knew, and uh, we think an ex told her we were a thing years ago at this party back in Manaya. Oh, have I uh, not originally mentioned I'm from the Naki? Tacky segue to say literally only gay in the village back in the day. <laughs> so I call my grandma every week, right? And, and every phone call, without fail, every phone call used to go, say. You got a man in your life yet? <laughs> Any Mr. Tall, Dark and Handsome? And sometimes it was ironic, because like Sam, Antha, Tony or Joe, but no, Grandma. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend reckons she knows. I was lucky enough to introduce the two of them about a year ago. Just a couple of gal pals on a van trip through Fakatane. Oh, fucking Tane. <laughs> Often, they're not as naive as we perceive, but she... Yeah, you know what, probably had a rough idea about her granddaughter's sexuality. I don't know, it didn't come from me. Killed it. <laughs>